Rain or shine, hot or cold, dozens of men are in Country Park in Greensboro for their daily morning boot camp workout. Today you will experience the first F, that is the fitness part. They're part of F3 Greensboro. Corey Phillips is their leader. So F3 stands for Fitness, Fellowship, and Faith. Oh! Outside of the workouts, they meet for coffee, lunch, and just to catch up. The fellowship was important to me. I thrive in a community of individuals or, or you know, people who, who I can lean on, people who you know, I can be accountable to. Developing strong male uh, bonds and friendships is, is hard to find, so that's the glue. Uh, that's what I love. Michael Ambler and County Al Glenn are regulars. When the racial unrest happened this summer, this group saw an opportunity. We believe that started with conversations, and uh, we're blessed in, in F3 Greensboro to, to look a lot like the community that we represent. And we wanted to continue that momentum, and so we started with really uncomfortable conversations, uh, but earnest and honest. It was, you know, the elephant in the room that we couldn't ignore. And what we as a group did was actually address it, and um, that, that helped tremendously. These guys come for the workout or the fitness, they stay for the fellowship, and that builds their faith in one another. That opens the door for these conversations that they say are changing their lives and hopefully their community. First thing is being honest with yourself. You know, what has my life been like? Uh, I, I think I'm a certain way. I don't think I have a a racist bone or prejudice or bias in my body, but in reality we all do. And to be able to come to that truth with guys you trust uh, and listen to their stories and then analyze and uh, self-assess yourself, it really is very freeing. A few of them even met up the night George Floyd was killed. It was probably 11 of us, maybe five or six African Americans, and we were given a space and the freedom to express our frustrations as they were. You know, we didn't have to sugarcoat anything. We sit down and, and first we listen, uh, and then we educate, understand, and support. Mm -hmm. And it's been life changing. I know that when you put yourself in a context like that and see how it's impacted people you care about, you can't unsee what you see. Our one rule was really that uh, we can disagree with one another, but we cannot be disagreeable towards one another. All right, it's doing good work in the community. All right. All right. All right. All right. Every session ends with a circle of trust where they share any and everything, including prayer requests and praise reports. They hope that as they learn more, they can do more. And Lord, thank you very much for this community of men, which inspires us all daily. I personally learned that the wrong thing to do is to stand by and, and believe that as a white man, uh, I can't do anything to help. Listening and caring about other men and what their life experience is, it's, it's just invaluable. Tracy Clements, Fox 8 News. Greensboro.